not, I do not believe we've been properly introduced. I expect the formalities must be winked at in a case like this, mademoiselle. The attendant told me you are acting on the frog detective's behalf. I am the frog, monsieur. Hercule Poirot is Belgian. Apologies. No offense meant. Your accent's a bit of mid-channel. Difficult to pick up. May I have your passport, please? Of course. Colonel Francis Gordon Arbuthnot, the Muse, Cheltenham, Royal Northumberland Fusiliers, currently stationed in India. Yes, on leave. But you're not traveling on the P&O boat? Why not? I stopped in Baghdad with the AOC, who happens to be a good friend of mine. I will take your fingerprints now. Will you, by Jove? Well, get on with it then. Can you give me an account of your movements last night? Yes, I think I can. After dinner, I had a drink in the salon car with young McQueen, the dead man's secretary. Surprisingly knowledgeable about world affairs for an American, even if he had got hold of some tomfool ideas about India. We adjourned to his compartment, let me see, around 2100. That's 9 p.m. You saw us in the Belgrade station courtyard. We stepped out for a bit of fresh air, but with the weather turning foul, that wasn't on. Where did you meet Mademoiselle Debenham? Miss Debenham? What in, uh, in Baghdad, if you must know. And your opinion of her? You can take it from me, she's all right. A Puka Sahib. What happened after Belgrade? Around 2200, that's 10 p.m. Ratchet's valet came to fetch him for his employer. He went off for a while. And what did you do after Monsieur McQueen left you? Well, I went back to the salon car for a nightcap, didn't I? I was heading to my compartment when I ran into McQueen. Went off back to his room again to continue the matter. I put him straight on India. Learned a bit about the American stock market. Bloody fool's game, if you ask me. Oh, pardon my... That is to say, my language. Do not concern yourself. There, you see. Now I can hear the accent. It comes and goes. What time did your discussion of world affairs end? The conversation was so engrossing, by the time I looked at my watch, it was quarter to two. The queen called the attendant to make up his bed. I came back here. What do you and Monsieur McQueen smoke? McQueen doesn't, now that I think of it. A pipe's my weapon of choice. Did anyone pass Monsieur McQueen's room while you were talking? A good many people, I should think. Wasn't paying attention. The attendant did at one point, and I think I caught a glimpse of you wandering about. Let us say during the last hour of your conversation. Really, I can't. Colonel, you have the soldier's observation for detail. Hang on. There was a woman, I think. Was this woman young or old? Didn't see her, wasn't looking that way. Just a rustle and a scent. Mademoiselle Debenham? No, I'd recognize. Uh, that is to say, it wasn't... No, it... it was very strong. Fruit or something. Can you pinpoint the time the woman passed? What were you discussing? Let's see, I was detailing the other washout. Stalin's five-year plan was turning out... It must have been within the last half hour. More definite than that, I can't say. Anything you can recall from last night that strikes you as suspicious? There was one odd thing. Yes? As I got back to my compartment, I noticed that the door of the one beyond mine, number 16, well, it wasn't quite closed. 
The chap inside peered out in a rather furtive sort of way, then quickly pulled the door. Probably nothing in it, but you know what it is. Early hours of the morning, everything very still. The think had a sinister look, like a detective story. Have you ever been in America? Never. Don't want to go. Did you ever know a Colonel Armstrong? Armstrong? Armstrong. I've known two or three Armstrongs. Selby Armstrong. He was killed on the Somme. I mean the Colonel Armstrong who married an American woman and whose only child was kidnapped and murdered. Ah, yes. I remember reading about that. Shocking affair. Never actually came across the fellow, but his name came up in the officer's mess, of course. Toby Armstrong. Nice fellow. Everybody liked him. Distinguished career. Got the VC. Victoria Cross. The man who was killed last night was the man responsible for the murder of Colonel Armstrong's child. Then, in my opinion, the swine got what he deserved. Though I would have preferred to see him properly hanged or electrocuted or whatever it is they do over there. Trial by 12 good men and true. Sound system. Thank you, Colonel Arbuthnot. Not at all. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll pop along to the salon car. Don't let me keep you. You mean to say you intend to stay in my compartment? Yes. And search through my belongings? I'm sorry, but I really must. But that's... I mean, it, it just isn't. That, that, that's bloody irregular. Pardon my French. 